Okay, hi everybody. This is Dr. Jody Sianislaw, and I am coming to you live Monday through Friday on my Facebook page to share inspiration and motivation for staying healthy and sane during these interesting times. I am a type 1 diabetes specialist, and I help patients with type 1 diabetes. I've had type 1 myself for 40 years. And so today I'm going to talk about a couple ways that you can improve your blood sugar levels because when they say we with diabetes are at higher risk of getting sick, it really is highlighting those with diabetes who have poor blood sugar control. Okay, so if you have great blood sugar control and good lifestyle habits, your immune system should be strong, right? So it's really how well are your blood sugar levels and how well are your four pillars? What are your four pillars? Well, they are your diet your sleep, your exercise, and your emotional health. So I've covered those very thoroughly in all of my other videos I've been doing um, since this uh, pandemic began. So feel free to scroll on my Facebook page for information about those. But today I just wanna talk about some simple steps to improve your blood sugar levels, okay? So yesterday I gave three tips for how to reduce your post-meal spikes right? That's the most common time that we have a high blood sugar level, of course, is after we eat. And what I mentioned yesterday is take a walk after you eat, microdose, which I teach on my online courses how to do, and choose lower carb meals because less carbs, less spikes. So those are my three tips yesterday. Today, I want to talk about your background insulin. Is your basal rate set right? basal rate or long acting. Basal rate refers to on the pump, of course, and long acting refers to like your Lantus, your Levamir, or something like that. So why do we need this background insulin? Do you know? We need it because the liver is constantly feeding us with glucose. It's, it's a fuel source that is given out 24 hours a day from our liver. So to counteract the glucose given by the liver, we need this background insulin. So that is why even if you don't eat all day, which I don't recommend, we still need insulin to counteract this food that our liver is constantly feeding us. So a properly set basal rate should keep your blood sugar level flat. For example, when I work with patients, I work virtually with patients all around the world. So if you wanna work with me, that we can do that. And if your blood sugar level is out of control, I strongly recommend that you take action now and I'd love to help you. But what I do when I work with patients is I, do some testing where we start overnight. We start to see, does your number stay flat through the night, okay? Because you don't wanna be going really high at night or really low at night or any time of day for that matter, but especially at night, right? Because while we're sleeping is even more of an important time to get good numbers because we don't wanna be in the danger zone when we're sleeping. So I always start with patients having you look at, can you keep a flat line through the night? So let me show you what is possible, okay? So this, let me turn my brightness up on my decks here. Um, brightness, hi, there we go. So this is what's absolutely possible. Most patients when they start working with me don't know that this is possible. But let me show you what my numbers have been the past, like, I don't know, 24 hours or so. Um, I'm getting to that. These screens can be so touchy. <laughs> Okay, so I had a nice flat line when I slept and that's all I wanna show you. So see, as you can see, nice flat line. That first peak is just my morning cortisol and my breakfast and now I'm you know, a nice 120 flat. So you can get that while you sleep. That is the goal, is to have a nice flat line. And so I can work with you to help you make sure that your basal rate is set right. I had one patient say, he's like, oh, I eat every two hours. And I asked, well, why do you eat every two hours? And he goes, well, because I have diabetes, I thought I had to eat every two hours. And I said, no, I said, you have too much insulin. So his basal rate, his background insulin was just way too high. We don't have to eat every two hours just because we have diabetes. That is just an overdose background basal rate, okay? And then if somebody is trending high all the time and that's not related to your food, then your basal rate's probably too low. So if you don't know how to do this, you really should learn, and now's a great time. So head over to my website. It's All you have to do to find it is Google Dr. Jody Diabetes, and I come up. The URL is drjodynd.com, D-R-J-O-D-Y, N as in naturopathic, D as in doctor. And you can click on Let's Chat, and we can have a chat just like this. 
Um, but I also have some great courses, uh, Mastering Your Blood Sugar with Exercise. That's a key one to learn how to not go high and low when you exercise. And uh, how to get off the blood sugar roller coaster. That's where I teach how to set your basal rates. So now is the time. Prioritize your health, everybody. Prioritize feeling good. Prioritize getting your blood sugar levels in order. And head over to my website for all my great videos and resources. I am here to help patients with type 1 live happy and healthy lives. And you'll find a bunch of resources on my website. I'd love to work with you. I'd love to have a virtual chat. So I have my calendar there. You can sign up for a free call. No obligation just to see if we're a good match. But tune in every day. I'm here to inspire you. I'm here to give you lots of ideas for how to stay strong mentally, physically during these interesting times. So I've had type one for 40 years. I live a healthy life and you can too. So if you know of anybody with type one, please share this video with them. Please make a comment in the uh, thread below. I can see some of you that have made comments here. Hi, Sharon, my friend Sharon's watching. Anna is watching, um, Benoit is watching, Alexandra, Jennifer, hi Jennifer, we went to med school together, um, Alan is watching, Dawn, hi Dawn, email me Dawn, haven't heard from you in a while, Joyce is watching, this is so great, it's so great, isn't it wonderful, this, this means that we can communicate through um, video conferencing all over the world, I'm really focusing on the positives that are coming out of this, I realize it's a tragedy i realize there's a lot of people struggling but we also does not deny that there's a lot of positives coming out of this um doing these virtual talks and and virtual connections and meetings is just such a beautiful way to connect with people all over the world so i encourage you if you're feeling down today to perhaps write a gratitude list write a gratitude list for the friends that you've been connecting with or reach out to a friend and tell them how much you love them um Feel gratitude for the sleep you had last night, hopefully. Um, plumbing. Does your toilet flush? Do you have water? Do we have food? This is an interesting time for all of us, but we all know that humans have lived through much worse. The, the famines, the plagues, the wars, um, World War II, the concentration camps. Um, this is nothing compared to that, right? Um, we have food, we have shelter, bombs are not being dropped. So really, it does not benefit us to be afraid and angry and scared right now. I always like to say fear is like a rocking chair. It gives you something to do, but it doesn't take you anywhere. So be proud of what's going well in your life. You don't have to feel bad that if you're enjoying this time. Um, the more joyful, happy, positive people we have, the better we will all come out of this. So I'm inspiring you, hopefully, to, to embrace the positivity that is happening around you. Maybe you're already feeling it, or maybe you need to make, take more note of it. But now is the time to stay positive. It keeps your immune system strong. Fear actually weakens the immune system. So tune in every day. I'll be sharing some positive messages on my Facebook page every day, Monday through Friday. I've got lots of videos um, on my Facebook feed if you want to scroll down. Talked a lot about the four pillars of health. Are you exercising? Are you sleeping? Are you eating well? And are you keeping your mental health sane? And today I talked about making sure your basal rate is set correctly. So please check out my website, sign up for a call with me. I'd love to chat. If your blood sugar levels are trending higher than 150, if your A1C is higher than 7%, you've got some work to do and I would love to help you. So that's it today for me, Dr. Jody Stanislaw. My website is drjodynd.com. Lots of great resources for you there. So please head on over there and I hope to talk to you soon. Have a great day, everybody. Stay positive, stay healthy, and get some good blood sugar levels. <laughs> Bye for now.